I'm Peter Brown, and you're watching Football Miami TV's Local News. This week, we got our mascot with us. Say hi, Chewy. Say hi, buddy. It seems like every week we report on a new potential signing for Inter-Miami. Well, guess what? This week is no different. We have more signing news. TYC Sports is reporting that Argentine Julian Carranza will join Miami for a fee of $6 million. The deal also includes bonus incentives and a 10% sell-on clause. The 19-year-old forward currently plays in Argentina for Banfield. He has scored 8 goals in 29 appearances. This follows a trend of young Argentina players coming to the U.S., for big money. Players like Atlanta's Pity Martinez, Ezekiel Barco, or even Columbus Crew's Milton Valenzuela. This is exciting news for, for Miami as we mostly have been focusing on players closer to the end of their career. This is a signing based on pure potential. If this report is true, the Miami scouts see some skills that can develop in MLS and then be sold, sold off, a la Miguel Amarone. I think most of us want us to model Miami on what Paul McDonough did in, in uh, Atlanta. It's been exciting and successful for young up-and-coming potential stars to play for that team. I still feel like we'll get at least one well-known older star using one DP slot with the other two DP slots for younger talent like Carranza. Can Julian Carranza become the next Almiron? What do you think about Julian Carranza becoming Inter Miami's First designated player. In other Inter Miami news, has David Beckham sold his shares of Inter Miami? I know by now you have already seen the report from Christian Rivas of AS.com that Beck sold his 10% stake of Inter Miami, but would remain a face of the team as a brand ambassador. I'm sure you also saw that. Inter Miami representatives have refuted that report by saying there is no truth to this report. David is a proud owner of the team. Beckham has been the face of MLS Miami from the beginning. Without him, we would not be where we are today. I'm not sure, however, if everyone knew that he only owned 10%. He's been a minority owner from the beginning. He's our J-Lo. The option in, M in his MLS contract allowed him to own a team for $25 million. One hell of a Groupon deal when franchises are going for $200 million today. Beckham brings worldwide attention to Miami and his connection with other players has a high value. If David calls a big name player in Europe, they will at least stay, uh, listen because, well, it's Beckham. Beckham calls, you answer. Simple as that. There's definitely value with him being attached to the team. But beyond star power and player connections, what else does he really bring to the team? And, his, uh, and, and is that enough, whatever he does bring? Keeping in mind, he is only a minority owner. The team has said he oversees all soccer operations, but that's really what they hired Paul McDonough for. Paul and his team are doing all that work, not Beckham. It's cool to have Beckham, but what does he really do? Beckham sightings in South Florida are rare, to say the least. That shouldn't be the case when he's the face of the team. We need him shaking babies and kissing hands. Or is that the other way around? I don't know. I, I get that mixed up sometimes. Inter-Miami says there is no truth to this. And I question the timing if it were true. Why would he sell now? Before they build the two stadiums and before they even kick a ball. I would understand if he chose to sell after both stadiums are built and the team has a few years under them. Might be a good business decision. And let's be honest, Beckham owning an MLS team is purely a business decision. It's not because he loves Miami. Beckham recently paid $150 million to buy out Simon Fuller from Beckham Brand Holdings. After spending $150 million to buy out his partner, could he be looking to focus more of his time and money on his brand and everything involved in running this company? With how difficult things have been in Miami, maybe he feels like he just doesn't have the time to fully commit. If Beckham were to sell and slowly divest himself of the team, and let's be honest, brand ambassador would be exactly that. You'd see him in the beginning of the season and he would slowly 
disappear throughout the year. How would you feel about that? Now that he's delivered an MLS team to Miami, do we really need David Beckham? It's cool for a superstar like David to be part of our team, but other than the cool factor, do we really need him? Does he really make that much of a difference when it comes to bringing talent to Miami? Or does Miami, the city itself, do that well enough on its own? Even though the team says there's no truth, I can't help but feel like there may be just a little bit of truth to this report. Maybe just a sliver. Got a question for you. Do you speak Spanish or at least understand it? If you do, you need to watch our very own Uncle Led every Wednesday as he does the news in Spanish. If you understand both English and Spanish, then you get a double dose of the news. You'll get my views of the news every Monday and Uncle Led's perspective every Wednesday. That's a winner in my book. Make sure to go back and watch Wednesday's video and post a comment right there in his video. In the Spanish video, post a comment and the best comment will win an Inter Miami hat. Same kind of hat that we gave away on this show. Post your comments right there on the Spanish video. Not here, Spanish video. Give us your thoughts in the comments below on both Julian Carranza and Beckham potentially wanting to sell his portion of Inter Miami. Do we really need Beckham at this point or do we just want him? Because it's cool. Please like and subscribe and we will see you here next Monday. Thanks for watching.